Hello everybody, good evening, Rose Thorne here. Tonight I am reacting to Foodie Beauty's live stream called McDonald's and she just finished up another live stream called Nighttime Bees. I just breezed through it to see if there was anything of note. There wasn't, but while reacting to the McDonald's Bees video, I'm gonna keep an eye on the comments section of the Nighttime Bees live stream, which just ended. And I'll refresh and I will react to the comments only of that video, of that live stream, and then we'll just call it a night. So I went through the McDonald's live stream and there were a couple of things of note that I wanted to remark on as far as the stream itself. Then we'll move on to the comments section. And then like I said, We'll move on to the comments section of the other one if there's anything there. So let me just go ahead and bring up Miss Foodie. And there she is. So in this live stream, she's aggressively eating McDonald's. And in the nighttime bees live stream, she's eating again. She's eating her Jamaican patty. So she ate twice. Uh, she ate the McDonald's and directly behind that, she ate the Jamaican patty, just eating two times at once. So let's start with the first place in the live stream that I thought would be of note, where she's talking about Monty's panel and remarking on some of the people on Monty's panel. I'm just go ahead and give my commentary to that. And if you guys enjoyed this react video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. So let's get to this thing, shall we? No one has pride in their work anymore. <laughs> I don't think you can take pride in flipping a burger, microwaving a burger. Why do you need content? Address the fruit flies. So imagine Foodie, someone who is literally addicted to fast food, throwing shade at people who work at fast food restaurants. Imagine that, the irony. Someone who doesn't like to cook, someone who enjoys fast food, throwing shade at people who work in fast food restaurants. Foodie, you should be grateful for those people. They're the ones making the food that you shovel in your maw five to six times a day. Without them making that food, you probably wouldn't eat very well because you're not about that cooking life. You're not about making your own food. They are the people standing behind the counters at the grills making that fast food that you enjoy so much <clears throat> i've seen once on his panel a woman Call me fat and bald. Was she lying? Y you are a woman of a bigger size. And when you do shave your head, you are bald. What about that was untrue? If you had hair, and if you were not super morbidly obese, I would see that that would be a lie, but she wasn't lying when she said that. When there's literally a fat and bald person on their panel. Do you not feel insulted by the person on your band, the panel who just also insulted you? And then people, bright, brilliant people will use the argument. They might be fat and bald, but they're not a piece of shit like you. Number one. So, so I guess Booty's way of thinking is if there's somebody on Monty's panel that happens to have no hair and that also happens to be overweight, they shouldn't be talking about her. They're not allowed to have an opinion. What's the thinking? Oh, I am somebody who's bald. You're somebody who's bald. We're both overweight, so you shouldn't talk about me. Foodie, you're on a public platform. You make content and you put it on a public platform. 
The moment that you do that, it's up for discussion by anybody, anywhere. Now, if your content were on a private forum, I could see why that would be a problem. But since you make a habit of putting things on a public forum, that means it's open for discussion by anybody, any place in the world. Now, if you don't like Monty's panels, here's a simple solution. Don't like it, don't look. Why are you so obsessed with Monty's panels and the things that people say there? Monty's panels are great. A lot of great discussion happens on his panels. Why does that bother you so much? Discussion about you happens on forums, in chat rooms, your own chat room, the comment sections of your videos, the comment sections of other people's videos. Why is it that you are so fixated on Monty's panels? If you don't like what they have to say, you don't have to pay attention. You don't have to listen. Just stay in your, on your channel, stay with your hug box, and don't run around on YouTube looking for what everybody says about you. Like you did the other night when Kaya Simon, Simon's life, when she did her, uh, her live stream where she had a tarot card reader. I thought that was a great stream also. It was something interesting. You made a point to not only go into the live stream and watch and listen, but you made yourself known. You could have lurked and been quiet, but you wanted everybody to know that you were there making snarky comments. Again, running around on YouTube, putting your nose where it's not wanted and where you're not invited and complaining that the public has opinions and feelings about you. Feelings and opinions that they have come away with because of the content that you make. You want to do negative, toxic content, but no one is allowed to have a negative opinion about what you do and express it to other people freely as we should. You don't want us to say bad things about you. Don't do bad things on the internet. Don't expect to get on YouTube, a public platform, and think it's okay to monetize your addictions monetize your your disorder with food and people aren't going to say anything don't expect people to watch you getting high and being high on camera and not say anything negative about it you may have your hug box and they may pay their five dollars a month to be on board with what you do and give you the praise and give you the love some of them don't but some of them do but that doesn't mean we all have to do it. There are some of us that are not gonna co-sign on your bullshit. We're gonna call you out, we're gonna speak the truth, and if you don't wanna hear the truth, then don't go where the truth is. Hear me? Just don't go there and don't listen. Stay in your world of the make-believe on your side of YouTube and don't go past that. Because once you step out of your yard, and in somebody else's yard, well, the circumstances are going to be a lot different. The discussion is going to be a lot different. Don't expect any hugs outside your hug box. We ain't going to hug you. We're not going to support you. We're going to tell it like it is, whether you like it or not. Okay? Simple. One, you just called someone a fat, bald idiot, which makes you a piece of shit. Number two, they don't correlate. Being fat and bald and being a good person, separate. So which one is it? You can be a person of a much larger size and be a good person. Yes, you can. I've known many people that were overweight or even obese. They were good people. Being good, it's not about size. It's about who you are, how you carry yourself, the way you treat other people, the way you talk to people, the way you carry yourself. It's about your character. You don't have good character. You're not a decent person. You try to tell yourself that. You try to say to yourself, I'm a good person. No, you're not. 
No, you're not. The Cuba rage streams prove that. Those rage streams were you, foodie. You can sit there and say, oh, the alcohol made me say that. I was drunk. You weren't that drunk. You did those streams and then you made sure to dirty delete. So you weren't blackout drunk. If you were blackout drunk, you wouldn't have deleted those streams as fast as you did. And if you were so blackout drunk, you wouldn't have remembered all the things you said and realized, oh my God, I completely went off the chain here. I need to get rid of the evidence. You might have been tipsy in Cuba. You were not blackout drunk, ma'am. No, you weren't. You know exactly what you were saying. You were being arrogant then because you've been riding on your high horse and thinking you could say anything you want and get away with it. Well, you're starting to feel the pushback, aren't you? Less super chats, less people signing up, less views on your videos. People are pushing back and they're letting you know that that's not okay. It's not okay. You're not a good person. You have been a good person in a long, long time. I don't know if you ever were, but you're not a good person now. What you are is someone who has gotten on YouTube and you started off a few years ago in a good place before you were monetized. You acted more decent then. You were all about giving different content to people. You did video game playthroughs. You did makeup looks. You did hauls. You went places. The money that you made on YouTube has ruined you in every way. Ruined your health. You're all about doing anything and everything for attention and for money. Your fixation for gluttony has no bounds. And it's ruined you ruined your channel so many people they get on your channel saying i miss the old foodie beauty and i understand why i've looked at your old content i can understand why they got into you why they became fans in the first place i got bad news for those people that old foodie ain't coming back what you're seeing in front of you is what is and will always be she's not interested in self-improvement She's not interested in enlightenment or making her life better. She just wants to sit in front of her camera and eat and be boring and expect to get paid top dollar for it. Times have changed, Rudy. The tide has changed on you. And unless you're ready to change with it, you're going to go under. You're going to go under. But in the meantime, we're all here to give our opinions and our feelings. You don't like it, too bad. Do you see what I mean? Can you add love to the list of block words? <laughs> Why? Oh, I see. You know Subway King loves you. <laughs> Girl, can you eat any faster? I don't know, Norma Jean. About ball chipping? I'm not the one who said that. Teeth are not blocked from chat. I saw the juice. Because Sopa always says love is gross. Okay, I don't feel like sitting here watching her eat and chew her food with her mouth open. That's just beyond gross. So let's just skip to the other part that I want to see right here. Hold on just a minute. Let me find it. Oops. Let's back it up a little bit. Hey, news. Oh, thank you, guys. This will be your first repeat. I've learned so much in a month. <sighs> <clears throat> She can't still be 19. You've been saying that for two years. What would I watch without you? Sleep and be ready, set, repeat, or regime. Yay! You have to rejoin? Welcome back, Erica in America. I'm sorry. I think I, I missed it. Sorry. Let me back up just a little bit more. BJ minutes from death's door. 
Hold on a minute. Let's go back. So now you should buy taro fruit fly traps. They look like apples and they work real good. I use them. Oh, really? For a sleep stream. <laughs> okay, I'll, I will try to look into it later. On TikTok or here? She deserves a whole pint of ice cream. No, she doesn't need a whole pint of ice cream. She needs cat food. You want some ice cream? You're going to be 20. You're freaking old. Mm. Hi, poor lady. She, she's always making an issue about how old her cats are. She's got a problem with age. She's got a problem with her cat being old, with people being old. What is this obsession with hating on things that are older than you, foodie? You'd be lucky to make it to 40 years old. Maybe that's why she hates on older people, because she knows that the way that she's behaving, her lifespan might be cut very short. It might be her last birthday. Look at that. Just for that, foodie. Just for that. Did you hear what she just said, y'all? She said it might be her last birthday and she's grinning. Like that's the funniest thing ever. You horrible wench. She deserves paneer. If I don't celebrate the <laughs> People are going to call Beta if I don't. I know. PPG minutes from death the door. <clears throat> no, oh, Nancy, oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not flipping my eyelids. That hurts. No, BBJ. Don't. A live close up CPAP. Randomly scrolling TikTok and see a live close-up of CPAP. CPAP is still hanging on. It's been defaced. It's been abused. What is it with these? Uh, Flop Era, who are you? What are you? Y'all seen these comments from Flop Era saying, BBJ, go into the light. It's safe. And then BBJ, let the Lord wrap his arms around you in heaven. It's okay. Flop, you're an idiot. Stop saying things like that. Rude. But still, it still hangs on. Do not let the Lord come for you, BBJ. Do not go into the good light. Into the good night. Rage. Rage again. Okay, shut up, Chantal. So that's all we're going to cover from the live stream itself. Let's go to the comments. Let me just refresh real quick. I want to get it all. Have on. a good time. Okay, shut up, Chantal. There we go. Ah, that's much better when she doesn't talk. Okay. Vixen Jones says, Foodie, I'm begging you to read this. You know, darling, I was watching your content from five years ago before the food and drugs took over your life. You looked incredible. Your videos were great, even the early mukbangs, but you just gave up on life. You can see it over time, and it's so sad to see. Please, please take some time to go and watch some of these videos. You can change your life. You just have to want to. If you don't, you'll either end up dead from heart failure or jail for tax evasion. You don't need a man in your life to complete you, I promise you. Get some help with a drug addiction, I beg you. You know, Vixen, you're saying all this from a good heart. I'll give you that. But here's the problem. She's not going to hear you and she's not going to care. Someone like Foodie, you can have the most sage of advice for her. Until she's ready to hear it, until she's ready to change, it's not going to matter. You're wasting your breath. But you are right about one thing. She was different five years ago than who she is today. As I said earlier, her earlier content, she did a variety of different things. She was much more active. She was more 
normal. And then over time, she became this almost caricature of herself for the sake of earning some coin. Anybody that goes back through Fieldy's content and you watch her earlier videos, you're going to look at her and go, who is this person? She's completely different now. Don't even recognize her. And I'm not referring to her weight. I'm talking about her personality, the way she was talking. She wasn't burping. She wasn't farting. She was acting like just a normal person, somewhat. And now we've got this over-exaggerated, blown-out copy of Foodie Beauty that it's, she's taking her own channel. Deer says, it's so wonderful and I'm so happy for you that you love your body and you're so full of self-love. It is very apparent from your cue stream. <laughs> you know, I think I smell some sarcasm from here. Yeah, yeah, that's the smell of sarcasm. I know that smell anywhere. Let's see. Uh, Jacqueline M says, for those of you new here, I highly recommend watching Mr. Snowflake's new one hour long deep dive he released today on Foodie. I came here this summer, so I missed a lot. I'm, I don't know about this deep dive. I'll go take a look at it and see what's going on there. But thanks for letting me know. Let's see. Angie says, we see why you so adamantly jumped off so Natter could go live. If you are truly in such a rush to play a Mario, then post a picture. You aren't playing Mario. You're stroking Natter's ego by giving him a time slot. Yeah, the two of them, they have this habit of doing the live stream tag team. She'll go live, then he'll go live, and then she'll go live again. They'll just do that all night long just to get views for each other's channels. You know, and I'm sure they coordinate on the phone. Well, how long are you going to be on? Oh, this long. Okay, then I'll stream after you're done. She's still talking to him. You know she is. I mean, I did my earlier react. You saw part of her dress at Mount Royal behind a tree. She was there. She was definitely there. And more evidence, like I said, he got new groceries for his cooking videos. Where do you think those came from? I mean, them lying and saying they're not seeing each other. Nonsense. They are. Daisy Skippy says the French fry went down hard because you didn't chew it properly. I can't understand how you and Amber Lynn are so comfortable and act like having multiple rounds of takeout delivered to you daily is normal because that is their normal. That is their normal. And I'm going to say this with full confidence. I think that our Miss Foodie, she's over there taking feeder requests. That's right. I said it. I think that she gets paid away from YouTube, people sending her money through PayPal or Cash App or something to eat certain things on camera. Maybe some of those people are paying for her to eat certain meals, but she has definitely taken those feeder requests and getting that extra bonus money before her YouTube payday. So that's why she's eating the takeout so much. Somebody says, hey, eat some McDonald's or eat some ice cream sandwiches and I'll pay you 50 bucks or whatever. Trust me, she's going to jump on it. She likes to eat. And to be able to eat and get paid for it and they'll pay for the meal, why not? Kim Adams says, do you and Natter honestly believe you're fooling people? So nice of him to go live. So by the time he's done with it, you'll be at Dee Dee's. Please hurry back to him. It looks like him and Dee Dee are almost out of wine. He also requested that you swing by the outhouse on your way. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ty Baby says, doggone. Letting that bitter sauce sit on your teeth all week sure did stain those bad boys, huh? Brush them yet? What do you think the answer is? She's not about oral hygiene. She'll care, though, once they start rotting. Sassy says, you got Natter on the big screen TV while shouting your disdain for Dee Dee, Lulu, while your lust for Natty. The game you play is known by everyone, including the courts. Can't wait for the approaching outcome Tuesday, right? I'm telling you guys, there's no court case. There's no court case. I think it's all bogus. 
It's all bogus. It was a big deal for a minute, and we haven't heard anything about it since. It's died down. It was a deflection. People were mad at Foodie. They didn't like Natter. So let's just drum up some drama for views and for money and give the impression that she was done with him. That's why she did it. But we haven't heard anything about it since. I don't think there is any court case. I think it was all just made up, and I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with it. As a matter of fact, the tarot card reader that was on Kaya Simon's live, live stream, when people asked her what her feeling was, the word that came to her mind was staged. So I'm a tarot card reader. She had a tarot card reader on her channel, and we're both saying the same thing. Isn't that something? Quintessential Meg says, I think you need to consider why at 38 you're still growing up. While you also have said hateful things against older people, I think you have a fear aversion to aging. This is only a small part of your issues, but I think if you can accept aging and find the beauty and grace in it, you will actually have more peace and find more maturity. Very wise words, Quintessential. I think the reason why she hates on older people is because she, there's no sense of peace about aging for her. Maybe she fears it. She fears growing old for some reason. Maybe because she doesn't know who she is. She doesn't have her own identity to the point where she has to latch on to men trying to find some sort of identity. Maybe that's part of it. I don't know. I'm not in Foodie's head. I'm just guessing. Spider Rico says, when you finish food and drinks, why do you toss trash on the living room floor? I just don't understand. Well, quick answer, because she's dirty and filthy. Even though she's got trash bags, don't put it in the trash bag where it belongs. Don't take the trash out. Just put it on the floor. That's, that's her garbage disposal. Uh, Huda says, had to go because Natter is going live? Probably. Stacy says, it just keeps getting worse. Who wants to watch someone eat and talk about the same crap every day? Can't imagine why your views are dropping. Boring AF. Listening to the same old promises and the same old lies. Right. Hence why when I do my reacts now, I'm not reacting to the whole video. No. I'll just pick out key points, talk about them, go to the comments section. Done. Let's wrap it up nice and neat in a little package and call it a day. There's no need to cover the same stuff a hundred million times. You guys got things to do, so do I. Let's see. Next comment. People talking about Natter being live, so she's gotta go. Kelly Doxy RN says, Why do you eat with your mouth open and smacking? Really? Why? I got an answer for that. She's catering to those feeders. That's the kind of behavior they like. And that's no exaggeration. That's part of the feeder fetish. There's different things about the feeder fetish. They like to see the person who is the feedy, meaning the person eating. They like to see them in too small clothes. They like to see them eating lots of food. They like seeing the food dripping off their mouth and down on their shirt. And they like the mouth to be open and smacking on the food. You know, they, they really like that. Maybe that's why she does that. Somebody asking, why are your teeth brown? Quick answer, because she doesn't, she doesn't brush her teeth. So let's go over here to the night beats one. I ain't covering this live stream. Nope. No, we're skipping that. But this is the one where directly after the first live stream, shut up, foodie. Um, <laughs> she eats Jamaican patties. So she had McDonald's and she eats the Jamaican patties. Girl, why? You just had a big old meal. Let's go to the comments section. Of this one. Holly Go Heavy says, remember when she could come home from Natters and complain all the time how tired she was and yawn constantly and then have to go to sleep because he never let her sleep? Of course, she's not focusing on relationships right now. She's in one. Don't get me wrong. She's depressed. He's living with Didi and she's caused a separation is on, on meds to prevent raging and making things worse. But it's all for Natter. If it was for her, she would be cleaning her house and cooking, making her life better. Here's something I don't get. 
She wants to be with Nana really, really bad. But yet she will not be a presentable female for Natter, someone that you might want to claim. She's going to be the complete opposite. She wants to be claimed by Natter, but yet she won't brush her teeth. She won't wash her clothes. She won't keep a clean house. And he knows he likes all that stuff. So, you know, make it make sense. You want this man to claim you. You want to be in a relationship with you to want you over Dee Dee, but yet you can't even be bothered to be hygienic, to brush your teeth, to do all the things that normal people do. You're doing abs the absolute opposite of what you should be doing if you want him to be with you. Olivia L says, so crazy how much femininity Foodie Beauty has lost this year. A live stream from a year ago, I would have looked and seen a woman. And in this live stream like this, she genuinely looks like she could be a man. Hey, I'm not judging gender over here, all right? No, we're not going to do that. It, a man could be as feminine as a woman, and a woman can be as masculine as a man. Or you could have people that are gender fluid. You know, like sense of style comes into it. Sense of mannerisms comes into it. It's, you know, it's not so much about femininity, Olivia. It's about, what's the proper word? Having a sense of personal pride. There it is. Having a sense of personal pride about yourself. Taking care of yourself. Doing the maintenance on yourself. It's not about the masculine or the feminine. It's about just caring about oneself and taking pride in oneself. At one time, Foodie had a bit of pride with herself. She got her nails done. She came on camera with her nails done, with her makeup on, dressed well. She doesn't care anymore. She doesn't have any sense of self pride. She just lets it all hang out there because she's gotten lazy. The YouTube money has made her lazy and basically given her a mindset of, I don't have to try anymore. I don't have to try. I don't have to work to look good for my audience. They're here for me anyway. I could come on camera looking like a slob, being dirty. They're still going to be here and I'm still going to make money. So why bother trying? The more money she makes, the more she doesn't take pride in herself. So it's not so much about the feminine or the masculine. It's about personal pride and, and she's reached a point where she's making so much money she just doesn't care ingrid says yeah freaking right the villa doesn't read could you <laughs> yes it does I, I can almost guarantee you it does fruit flies mold unchanged litter boxes let me tell you something i'm a cat mama and there ain't nothing like a dirty cat box to make your house smell Anybody that's ever had a cat, if your litter box goes too long, and believe me, it doesn't take long, and if you've got multiple cats in the house and they're peeing in that litter box, the pee urine turns to ammonia. Anybody ever smell ammonia out there? It is strong. You get that strong ammonia smell in the air and it will knock you out. Now imagine Foodie and Pete's situation where they don't change the litter box for weeks at a time, months. Just from that alone, never mind the food and, and the moldy pots and whatnot, that will be powerful. That ammonia smell will be powerful and it will reek. And it's not the fault of the cats. They got to do their business somewhere. It's the fault of the owners who are not taking care of stuff. Christina says, even your VIB clowns are flocking over to Monty's channel for entertainment. That's got to hurt. I'm sure it does hurt. But it's Foodie's fault. It's all her fault. She doesn't want people to go the reaction channels. And yet by acting the way that she's acting in her live streams, she's giving other people her audience. She's not taking an active part and making sure that people are entertained on her channel. So therefore, if they want to be entertained, they gotta go to other places. 
foodie, people are leaving your channel left and right. Not because the other channels are stealing your audience or stealing your viewers. It's because you're giving us those people. They're bored. They've been yelling and screaming for change and for positive content. You ain't doing it. It's not our fault. It's yours. Point the finger back at yourself. But if the VIBs are going over to Monty's chat and having a good time, and they're not having to pay a $5 cover charge for nothing, good. Good. I hope they stay over there and they become part of Monty's crowd. Carol Wood says, why do we see your blue dress in Nad's walking video at 43 seconds? Because she was there. I showed the evidence in my video. That was her. She was trying to hide behind a tree and he was trying hard not to show her, but he ended up showing her anyway. That was your fault, Natter. We saw her dress. You guys are busted. So that's it for the comments, y'all. And, and again, just to, just to show you guys what you're missing. So there she is. Uh, she had on uh, Cheyenne Jasmine. Who's really, really funny, by the way. So she just ate McDonald's and Miss Mama's over here eating. Oh, my God. Look. Look. All of this. So you had a McDonald's meal and you're going to eat all these Jamaican patties. Why? Lord. Serious question. Are you on a binge right now? And how in the world of your binging? Are you losing weight? It's not possible, Cody. Not possible. Eating a meal is eating a meal. Binging is binging. Binging is when you're eating nonstop out of control. That's what you've been doing lately. You need to cut that out. You need to cut it out. Stop it. This is bad for you. Cut it out. They will not get... Hush. See, this content right here, foodie. You don't want people to get on panel and talk about you. But yet, this is what you give us. How can we not talk about it? You're monetizing your addictions. You're monetizing your, your food disorder. We're not supposed to remark on it. Then don't try to monetize it. Keep it off camera. Now we have nothing to say. It's just that simple. Easy. Done. Okay, y'all. That's it for this React video. Hope if you enjoyed it. If you have, please like it, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and please have a very good day. Bye-bye.